There's a verse that keeps coming to me while I'm up here. So I'm going to go here for a minute. Anytime God's about to do something like this, he always brings the word repent into play. But he's not always doing it because people are in sin. Because the word repent doesn't necessarily have anything to do with sin. The word repent literally means a change of thinking. It doesn't mean turn and go another way. That's uh, metanoia's repent, epistrepho is turn and go the other way. So after you get his understanding, you can turn and go his way or change the way you think. So the turning is a part of the process, but what it really means is think differently. So some Greek, really literal Greek translations of Matthew 3 translate John the Baptist's message that way because he was saying, repent for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. And the word repent, they translate it, that John was standing out by the river and on the hillside saying, think differently. It's time to change the way you think. Why? Because what you've been waiting for is here. He's here among us. I'm just the forerunner. Think differently. And the tense in Greek actually means a continuous. So the translations, we says, think differently and keep on thinking differently it's time for you to shift the way you're thinking why well maybe maybe there's been sin and you need to change but perhaps it's just that you've been in this phase with him with us God's about to do this so he comes along and says hey think differently now I'm going to show you what I've been preparing you for And sometimes he doesn't give you much time. Sometimes he does, sometimes he doesn't. When he comes to Joshua, he says, three days. Here we go. He shows up with my dad. He didn't know it was coming. He shows up with me. I didn't know it was coming. I just hear the Lord right now saying you you are you are much more ready than you know for what he's about to do this house this he's been doing things that you wouldn't be able to explain or put your finger on this or say I know what he's doing. You say, I don't know what he's doing. But he's been doing things. There are breakthroughs you need for this region. But you know what I hear the Lord saying right now? You jump in anytime you want, brothers. You know what I hear him saying right now? You are my breakthrough. You are my breakthrough. And the people that I have sent to you, they are your breakthrough. They are my breakthrough. That's what I hear him say. He has done a work to prepare us for what we're moving into. Just like he did me for the 15s. He just had to get my emotions to catch up with what he had already done.
He had to get my mind to think differently. Because he was doing something different. And I feel like what he's doing with me right now is he, he's, he's, he's finally showing me I'm trying to change the way you think because the, you're coming to the end of a season where I need you to be the forerunner that's breaking up fallow ground, preparing the way for what I'm about to do. I'm about to do what I'm about to do. So I won't need you to do that anymore. I'm going to need you to father a whole bunch of young warriors. And where you had to go to this region, this region, this region, I'm going to let you sit in a room and talk to 200,000 at a time. I have never said this before publicly in my life. In the last two years, we have had almost 70 million views. Give him 50. Maybe there now. When you're the guy that's saying, I don't like this, I'm not going to do it. How are you going to take credit for it? <laughs> but he's, he's so smart. And he's so good at what he does. Yeah. Yeah. When I'm dragging my feet and you know, I'm supposed to be doing this and he starts moving me over here. He's so smart that he's been preparing me for something I don't want to do. When I get there, I'm going to find out I like doing it. Because I allowed everything to come into alignment with his plan. You know, like well, we're here this weekend. God's going to allow us to come into agreement in some regarding some prayers and declarations that'll break some things loose. But it's not like you just finally had to get the right people here to break things loose. It's that it's time to break things loose, and what you've been doing and preparing for, and He's been doing through you has been productive and effective even when you haven't known exactly what it is. But he's just saying, why don't you just trust me that I know what I'm doing when you don't know that what I'm doing. So he's going to bust some things loose and help expedite this shift that needs to take place in the spirit realm. I'm not talking about an unwillingness. I'm talking... I don't feel like you probably felt the way I did. I don't feel like you're resisting him. I just, I just feel like you just, you just, this is like Abraham. Until he comes and says, okay, next year you, the baby's coming, you're just like, I don't, I don't know what to do with this word. But then he comes and he says, next year. You think, well, I don't. Then you start probably watching each other's body change. Because when he says it's time, he can do it. 